Today, we're headed to the Plymouth dealership to grab some brochures and take a brief look at the new 1960 Valiant. The big news from Chrysler Corporation was the Valiant. Introduced in 1959 as a 1960 model during its first sales year, an impressive 194,292 Valiants were sold. Valiant was presented in two series known as V100 and V200, each having a four-door sedan and a four-door suburban wagon, the latter available in two and three seat versions. Begun as Project A901 in May of 1957, Concentrated effort to bring the little car to reality got underway in mid-1958. During the final surge of development, 32 prototypes were hand-built for testing, which racked up a total of more than 750,000 miles. During the final detailing phase, a name was sought. Within styling and engineering activities, the name Falcon had been used in verbal references to the car but eventual word of Ford's selection of that name for its own compact ended its use. Finally, five names, including Valiant, were chosen from a list of thousands and submitted to 2017 automobile owners across the country, and the majority preference ended the search for a name. For this first year only, the Valiant was a distinct brand, emphasized by Chrysler Publicity, which boasted six separate brands of passenger cars built in the U.S. Plymouth, DeSoto, Dodge, Chrysler, Imperial, and Valiant. Further pointing up its independence, promotional media stated that it was nobody's kid brother. This one stands on its own four tires. So it was not a Plymouth Valiant, nor any other brand's Valiant and it rated equal status with others when the new Plymouth DeSoto Valiant division was created. Built-in Dodge plants, Valiants were sold by dealers who sold Plymouths. Valiant was the answer to domestic and export demands for compact-sized cars. Since 1955, sales of imported small cars had risen at an alarming rate while exports of American cars dropped off sharply. Valiant sales success was immediate. In step with its individuality, styling was distinctive and unlike any other car. It bore an abundance of engineering newness. Unitized body construction was based on a wheelbase of 106.5 inches. Sedans and two-seat suburban wagons had a length of 184 inches and a width of 70.4 inches. Three-seat suburban wagons were a bit larger at 185.1 inches in length. With its unitized constructed body and frame that has more than 5,300 spot and seam welds, the Valiant was extremely strong and rigid, virtually eliminating any squeaks or rattles. An extensive seven-step dip process was used prior to paint application to prevent rust and corrosion. Each coat of the Luster Bond finish enamel is oven baked and carefully inspected. Valiant Light Blue and Valiant Light Green were added for the 1960 model year. These additions brought the number of Valiant colors to eight, with the original colors being blue, green, silver, white, black, and red. All eight colors were available on all V100 and V200 sedans and suburbans except for the red which was reserved for V200 models only. With a combination of good looks and utility in its 72 cubic foot of cargo space, the V100 Suburban fabrics, bolsters, and trim are highly wearable and cleanable. They came with long-wearing gray and black breathable vinyl seat material and exclusive to the V100 Suburban models. The V100 sedan's smart interior was selected to harmonize with all of the exterior paint colors. It combines beautifully with the green, silver, blue, white, or black. Full-width bench-type seats provide plenty of room for a family of six. 
The V200 Suburbans offered the same interior trim treatment as the V200 sedans in blue, green, or a combination of red and black. The cargo compartment is trimmed in either red, blue, or green. The V100 and V200 Suburban two-seat models came with standard tires. When a three-seat was ordered, the Suburban came standard with captive air tires. On two-seat models, the captive air tires could be ordered as optional. The instrument panel was simple and sensible. Controls are logically placed. Instrument faces are recessed in twin dials and easily seen through the steering wheel. Speedometer and odometer on the left. Temperature, oil, fuel, and ammeter on the right. A special version of Chrysler's Torsion Air front suspension was designed for Valiant and along with the asymmetrical leaf-type rear spring, this combination provided a superbly controlled ride that handled well and had outstanding maneuverability. Dozens of existing engines and layouts were considered for the Valiant before Chrysler decided to build a completely new engine. With economy and a high level of performance and reliability at the top of the list, the new engine, first intended to be made mostly of aluminum, is the inclined 30 degrees to the right slant six. The new six offered lower clearance than a standard six and allowed for cleaner, lower hood designs. The engine was a great success for Chrysler. The Valiant transmission was either a floor-mounted manual shift three-speed or the automatic push-button three-speed. Optional equipment available on all models such as push-button three-speed automatic transmission with park position. Full-time power steering for greater turning and parking ease. Power assist hydraulic brakes for easy straight-line stops. Centered on the instrument panel, an optional transistorized push-button radio for fast tuning and undistorted volume. White wall tires and chrome wheel trim rings that added an undeniably dramatic finishing touch for your new Valiant. Other options available, such as padded instrument panel, safety padded sun visors, undercoating with underhood pad, spare tire well cover on sedans, windshield washer, variable speed wipers, backup lights, Solex safety glass, rear bumper guards for sedans and two-seat wagons, front bumper grill guard, and more. Optional on V200 models only were bright side window reveal moldings, two-tone deluxe steering wheel with horn ring, color match carpeting in green, blue, or black on sedans only. Optional on V100, front door armrest, cigarette lighter, glove box lock, right side sun visor, dual horns, front bumper guards. And a few specs here. Wheelbase was 106 and a half inches long. Length for sedans and two seat wagons was 184 inches. The length for the three seat wagon was 185.1 inches. Overall width was 70.4 inches. Suburban wagon cargo load space was 72.3 cubic feet with the seats flat. The engine, a 170 cubic inch six cylinder, 30 degree incline. Bore was 3.40 inches, stroke 3.125 inches, compression ratio eight and a half to one, Horsepower, 101 horsepower at 4,400 RPM. Torque was 155 foot-pounds at 2,400 RPM and used three-ring aluminum alloy pistons. Transmissions, you had a three-speed floor shift manual transmission or three-speed push-button automatic with a park sprag. Brakes were 9 by 2.5 inch front, 9 by 2 rear. Rear axle was 355 for manual and automatic or 323 optional on the automatic. 
tire size, six and a half by 13, torsion bars and ball joints, front suspension, asymmetrical rear leaf spring, and the fuel capacity was 13 gallons. And for a few averages, 1960 averages, the average car cost 2,600 and equals 26,402 in 2023. Average household income was 5,315 equals 53,972 in 2023. Average home $12,700 equals 128,964 in 2023. Average gallon of gas was 31 cents. $1 in 1960 equals $10.15 in 2023. And pricing and production on the Valiant, the V100 sedan four-door, they produced 52788 And the base price was $1,874, which equals $19,036 in 2023. The V100 station wagon two-seat, Produced 12018 at a base price, $2,164, equals $21,982 in 2023. Valiant V100 station wagon three seat, produced 1928 Base price, $2,278, equals $23,140 in 2023. Valiant V200 sedan produced 106,515 base price $1,946 equals $19,768 in 2023 Valiant V200 station wagon 2 seat produced 16,368 uh, at a price of $2,236 equals $22,713 in 2023. And the Valiant V200 station wagon 3 seat produced 4675 Base price $2,350 equals $23,871 in 2023. With a goal to produce affordable cars that offered room for a family of six, give the buyer peppy performance and reliable economical fuel mileage and remain competitive with the import car market, Chrysler delivered on all counts, and sales proved the Valiant's success. Thanks for watching to the end. If you like this video, please subscribe so that we can grow this channel and bring more content to you in the future.